Wait, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to model this kind of table. I wanted to specifically show you the way that you can uh, model this kind of connections uh, near the bottom and how, like what's the best way to to approach this kind of uh, details. So let's let's go. So first thing, let's create uh, let's create a tabletop. I'm going to the top view. I'm gonna approximately this is around one meter twenty, and the length will be something around two meters to twenty. So I'm just going to do the rectangle, and this is this is the tabletop. Uh, now I'm going to draw the reference lines. I see that there is uh, there is uh, some inclination in this area around there. So I'm going to use it. Like so. I'm going to mirror this and have this line as well. So this is the bottom of the table. So this will be, go down. And let's see. The thickness of this table will be around three centimeters. Maybe a little bit more, five, something like this. Shaded mode. And now let's touch the bottom. So the best way to do this is by Actually, there's m multiple ways. We're gonna create for now surface here. And let's move it up. Solid points on. Let's move this down. Something like this. And now I'm just going to mirror this like so. And now let's connect them. I'm going to use this option here. It's called surface from three or four corner points. There you go. And mirror it. And there's our table. Uh, now let's join these. And this is the top. Uh, usually I want to make, have the old geometry clean, so uh, I will actually delete this bottom area. I'm using extract surface command to extract just this, this surface. Deleting it and then moving this back up. Now I can join everything, like so. And let's add a little bit of fillet on the edges. Radius 0 0.5, let's see. Let's have everything actually. Now I can see the amount of fillet, so I think this is fine. And there it is. Now let's create the the legs. So the way to create this is by uh, actually drawing lines first, and then based on these lines we can create the the three D. So. I'm going to let's measure the, the height so the height should be around 70 let's say 70 
yeah, something like this. So there will be position somewhere around there. Something like this. I'm just gonna move it a little bit here so I can see better. Uh, and now, based on these, I can uh, extrude the geometry to see what's gonna happen. Yeah, something like this. I can see that it's actually wider at the bottom. Something like this. Okay. Let's move this to the center. Okay. So the command that I'm going to use now is extract wireframe. I just want to have the lines. I don't need the surfaces. These are the sub sub lines which I also don't need. They're called ISO curves. And now let's uh let's yeah so what I can do here is I can project this line and this line actually all, all of the lines I want to project these lines on top of these surfaces so the best way to do this is by using uh, intersect because it's very fast so I just type intersect And I have my lines there. So these are the lines I will use to create the geometry. Let's see. Yeah, so somewhere around there. Like so. Let's mirror it and now we have the bottom, the top, sorry. So let's just trim it a little bit here and here. I don't need this. Uh, and here I want to have this on this uh, vertex moved inside a little bit like so. I'm looking, I'm checking the reference image and seeing what's the best uh, what's the best angle here uh, yeah it needs to go inside something like this so yeah that would do it join mirror Yeah, that seems about right. Maybe a little bit down. Okay. Uh, I'll create a middle point of all of this. So let's say somewhere around there. I'll create uh, the center here now we're gonna just do the the same thing but through this dot like so so they are they all intersect Okay. Okay, and then there's just one more that's going on the top. Okay, that's close enough. Uh, now let's um, let's see how we can do this edge there. So. 
first what we want to do, we want to join all of these on the bottom and let's see I want to join these on the top as well okay so the best way to do this is to select the outer edges first and let's do the pipe command from these planes radius is set to 0 0.2 which is nice and let's see okay everything's everything looked good and let's execute the command and we have the smooth corners now and for the rest of the lines we can just use the normal pipe command pipe rate is 0 0.2 And there you go. Now we can delete all the lines. And let's unhide our table. Let's change the height of the table a little bit. I think the proportions are not perfect yet. It's gonna be something like this. All right. So here's our table. This is the reference image. So let's see how it looks like in the render. Final. So here is the final render. I uh, hope that you like the image. And if you enjoyed these tutorials, please uh, like, share, and subscribe.